everyone. Today we have an Amika Vat with us. We have been selected uh, for interview of IIT Gandhi Nagar uh, in Material Science Department. Uh, so we will be discussing about her interview experience and uh, what were the questions being asked from her. So let us start. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Anamika. Thank, thank you, ma'am. And I would like to thank uh, your PDA team and especially Ma'am Jyoti for your guidance right from uh, starting applying institution and uh, tips for preparation of interviews. So thank you so much, Ma'am. You're welcome. It was my uh, job to provide the guidance and you are very sincere student that you followed all the steps and that's why you are selected in your very first interview. So Anavita, can you please uh, briefly introduce yourself Tell about your graduation, post-graduation, your university ranks, and also about your gifts. Okay. So my name is Anambika. I am from Manipur. I did my MSc in Physics from St. Xavier College, Kolkata, and I have got CGP of 8.18. And I did my BSc from St. Mary's College, Silong, and I have got a percentage of 82.13. And I have a uh, GET score 165 in physics. So uh, can you also tell that uh, in from how many uh, IITs, like, or you can some name some IITs also, or IISC also, if you have got all from yeah. university? Yeah, so, so far I have got a call from around uh, eight, eight institutes, like from uh, first from IIT Gandhinagar, Metro Science Engineering Department, and from ISC Bangalore in uh, MTech Research Program in, in Instrumentation and Applied Physics, and also from uh, IIT Bombay uh, in the department. Uh, these are in, uh, PhD program uh, in the Metallurgical and Metro Science Department, and also from Physics Department and IIT BHU and IIT Patna from physics department and uh, from IIT Madras physics department and at last from IIT Kharagpur in the uh, center of nanoscience and technology. So these are the in, uh, institute which has been uh, called for the return as well as for the interview. So uh, that means uh, they do even uh, give preference to big school, they also check your academic background. For example, uh, yes. I'd like to add that Anamika has been topper in her graduation and post graduation. So these things also help, especially when you're applying for PhD or MS in research. So now we will discuss what were the questions being asked to Anamika when she appeared for PhD interview. Anamika, can you please okay. tell me? Yeah, so when uh, the interview was happening in the online mode, so in the panel, there were three professors, but uh, only two professors asked me the questions. So the first question was uh, to, to introduce myself and uh, to tell about my uh, master thesis. So this was the first question. So uh, I told that I was working in the zinc oxide nanoparticles using uh, sol gel method. So from there only, they started asking question that, why did you choose zinc oxide? So I told the properties of zinc oxide. And the second, uh, next question was, uh, if if I give you uh, two, two different types of crystal, then uh, how can you identify them? So I told the technique that XR with the help of XRD technique, we can identify those two crystals. So uh, then uh, they asked me, like, uh, if you can uh, explain the working principle of XRD. So I explained the working principle. And after that, uh, they asked me the question, like, why did you apply uh, in this uh, metro science department, not in the physics department? So I told them that uh, uh, during my master's, I was uh, working in this uh, nano uh, zinc oxide nanoparticles. So from there, the, I read uh, some articles related to this project and all, and I came to know about the application various, uh, in various areas. So th that's why I got an interest and then uh, that's why I was thinking it's I can apply in metro science. And the next question was, uh, uh, they asked me about the instrumentations and the uh, techniques which I learned during my project. So I just mentioned uh, some of the techniques like XRD, UVB spectroscopy and uh, 
uh, the um, Sam and Tam. So these uh, these techniques I just mentioned them. And the next question was, uh, uh was about uh, the seminars. So I I didn't know that they will be asking question from my even from my profile. So uh, they asked me that uh, why did you attend the seminars in the dark matter galaxy all these things. So are you interested in the theor theoretical uh, physics and all? So I told them that uh, because uh, the seminars which was uh, which were happening in my uh, during my college was mostly from the uh, related to the astro particles and also I I attended because I want to know the areas uh, area of research which is going on in the other uh, er uh, areas of uh, other domain of physics. So that's why I attended. And the next question was. Uh, Mm, yeah after so after i uh, finished my uh, master i finished uh, in 2020 october so after that uh, uh, i also have a gift of uh, like almost two years so they asked me question that oh, what you are doing uh, during that time so i i answered them that i was uh, preparing for competitive examination and also i also have some uh, family problem due to that i was not uh, mentally prepared for uh, going for for phd program so, uh, so yeah uh, these were the reasons yeah so this problem is usually faced by many people especially during the covid that they have a gap year while applying so uh, the suggestion to them is uh, please justify your gap year right if you yes. justify it in any form, then it will be good, and it doesn't matter uh, in your selection, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and also one. So the Anamika. Yeah, ma'am. The last last question they asked me like uh, was that uh, uh, like do you have any question from our side? So so I I honestly told them that. I was not uh, from the material science background, so I don't know much about the material. So, uh, what are the opportunities I'll be getting if I uh, uh, selected in this department? So, the sir was telling me that okay, it is uh, it will take about uh, one hour if I have to explain all these things. But you don't have to be worried that I'll be getting like all the facilities. I'll be able to learn everything if I am willing to. Uh, learn and if I'm interested to learn in those areas. So yeah, this was all about my interviews. Okay. So they basically focused on the techniques uh, which were being used like XRD, SCM, your research project they are focused and also don't think that you can write anything in SOP or CV that they won't ask. They uh, go through your documents very carefully and then they ask about it. And especially when you're applying for interdisciplinary program, so these techniques and why you want to apply to particular course, these things also play a very good, a very crucial role. Okay, and uh, so you can uh, take inspiration from Manamika that even with uh, not low gate score, she got shortlisted in all the IITs, and also she qualified in her very first interview. It was her first interview for PhD. And still, she is giving interview of other IITs also. So, Anamika, would you like to like give any advice to students? Yes. So, uh, at first, uh, actually, I was I qualified get in two thousand twenty one with a very low get score. So, I was uh, thinking that I'll not be able to get in any institute. So that's why I didn't apply anywhere last year. So, uh, and. Uh, like while I was watching the YouTube, uh, uh, like if I have any uh, programs I can apply with this score, then I found the Europedia and then uh, like the opportunities which I can get with my academic background and all. So if any any of you have uh, like you think that uh, you have very low gate score and your academic background is like good, uh, if you maintain a good academic. Uh, percentage right from your 10th standard up to a master then you can still apply in the uh, many institutes like and also you can continue your preparation for your uh, examination so yeah this is all i want to say so uh, and one more thing i'd like to ask if you're applying in any interdisciplinary program will like uh, will there be any less opportunity are you aware of these things that have to be uh, suppose you're from physics background and you are shifting to materials and 
So that's that effect. Okay, but uh, I don't think, ma'am, because when I was going through in the uh, physics department also, like there, I found some professor. They are also working in the interdisciplinary department. So I think in PhD it doesn't matter much. I think since uh, if I am from uh, MSc physics background, so you can do in this interdisciplinary also. We have many department like uh, in energy study also we can apply and um, materials and other uh, astro. Uh, uh not sorry aerospace aerospace this department uh engineering department and even biomedical so uh art science atmospheric uh this this in this department we can apply so yeah so uh please look at other departments also in uh, which you are uh, eligible for example physics people can uh in iit mumbai they can apply up to 20 departments for the in which they can apply so don't limit yourself in applying to only four branches there is a uh, so a uh, so much better research going on in interdisciplinary branches also and after being phd in these branches also you can become professor in physics also in material science also it doesn't matter okay thank you anamika for sharing your experience thank you ma'am it's my pleasure yes okay.